Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 via USB using a modified version of Boot Camp Assistant. Now, I'm going to be installing it on an unsupported Mac, which in this case is a Mac Pro, but like most Macs out there, they do unofficially support Windows 10. If you are following this guide for Mac Pro, for this guide in particular, you're going to need a Mac compatible graphics card for the installation process. However, if you don't have one of those available and you only have something like an RX 580, then check out the Bootcamp via DVD guide, which will allow you to install Windows without having a Mac verified card. Also, if you want complete mastery of the domain, you can check out the installing Windows 10 without Bootcamp guide. All right, hope you enjoy it. All right, first up, if you don't already have a copy of Windows, just jump on a Google train and get a copy of the latest ISO from the Microsoft website. If you press command space and type in Bootcamp and launch the Bootcamp Assist app, you can see that by default, it won't allow you to install Windows 10. But don't worry, you can enable this by modifying the app. Just go into Finder, Applications, Utilities, make a copy of Bootcamp Assistant, and right click on the copy and select show package contents. You then want to open up the info.plist with text edit. Inside, you wanna search for two things, pre USB boot supported models, where you should see your Mac version listed. In my case, I'll just remove the entry Mac Pro 5.1 and you wanna search for non Win 10 models, where I will again remove the entry of my machine, Mac Pro 5.1. Now, if you launch the modified Bootcamp Assistant app, it should say install Windows 7 or later version. You have done it, you're amazing. Insert a USB drive in and point the ISO image to the ISO you just downloaded. After your USB drive is prepared, you'll be able to select how much space you want to give Windows. Now be careful, as at this stage, it is really hard to modify the amount of space after setting. So pick your size wisely. Bootcamp Assistant will now go ahead and try to reset your computer to Windows. However, as booting from USB isn't available on the Mac Pro, you'll have to hold down the Alt key as the system boots to load up the boot selector screen. If you don't have a Mac compatible graphics card plugged in, nothing will appear. So now's the time to plug it in as bootcamp selector screen will not load without one. All right, so hold down the Alt key until you hear the chimes. Then wait until the boot selector screen appears. This may take around 90 seconds, but once loaded, you can insert the Windows 10 USB you just created and select it. The Windows 10 installer will now load up. It takes around 30 seconds. Go ahead, select your region, input your product key, and when you get to the where do you want to install Windows screen, select the bootcamp labeled partition. Windows will at this stage require you to format the partition to NTFS. No, this won't affect your Mac OS. Just the new partition we made earlier. If after formatting Windows, you get a complaint of 0x8030024. That just means it's confused about which drive it should install Windows to. In my case, I was installing Windows on a PCIe SSD and I had a SATA drive also plugged in. So once I unplugged that, I was able to continue. All right, so we're back here. Partition free, form on eight. After the install, Windows will restart your computer. In my case, it rebooted back into Windows and continued the install. However, in some cases, you might be rebooted back into Mac OS. And if this happens to you, just hold down the Alt key and wait for the boot manager and select the bootcamp partition to continue. All right, that's pretty much it. Finish up the installer. Go ahead and install the bootcamp drivers and reboot your machine. You might notice that your screen is a little stretched. 
but after Windows Update has finished updating the drivers for your graphics card, all should be good in the world. You can of course at this stage turn off the system and plug back in your original non-Mac compatible graphics card. One thing to note is that some users have experienced issues when swapping the PCI slots of the graphics cards. So it's worth making sure you plug in your graphics card in the slot you plan on using it long term. Finally, to get back into macOS, you can use the Bootcamp app. Unfortunately, if you're using a non-Mac compatible graphics card, as the boot manager isn't loaded, it will just reboot back into Windows. Yeah, it's my sound effect. So to get around this, you can either have both your Mac compatible graphics card and your non-Mac compatible graphics card plugged in at the same time, or you can reset the PRAM every time you want to reboot back into macOS, which unfortunately is very, very, very tedious. You can start the Mac or restart it. Hold down Command, Alt, P and R. After the first chime, just keep holding it down and wait for the second one. After the second one, you can let go of the keys and then it should boot into Mac. Once back in your Mac OS, you can always reboot back into Windows from System Preferences, Startup Disk. All right, I hope you found this guide useful and I'd love to hear how the install went for you.